Hey guys, how's it going? In my last Nightwing video, I showed you how to make Nightwing's batons. Now, I'm going to show you how to make his body armor and how to attach the batons to the back of the armor with magnets. So the site that I got my Nightwing vest armor from is a site called evike.com. They sell really, really good airsoft paintball, tactical gear, airsoft guns, whatever you want. Um, so the type of vest that I got is called the Matrix Cobra Warrior. Uh, I thought it looked the coolest and the most like something a superhero would wear in real life. Alright, so I just made this uh, Nightwing emblem out of this thin piece of craft foam for my vest. Basically what I did was I just printed out a little stencil, I cut it out, and then I taped it to the craft foam, and I cut it out with an X-Acto knife, and I used a, uh, a ruler to kind of get the lines really perfectly straight, popped out really easily, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to coat it with a little bit of Mod Podge just to, you know, secure it and make it a little bit sturdier, and then I'm going to paint it. So I got the third coat on right here. I'm going to speed up the drying process with a hair dryer. Yes, I know it's pink. Not mine, but put it on the lowest setting, cold air. So here it is, three coats of Mod Podge on it. It's nice and dry. It's a little bit warped because I actually heated it up and formed it to the uh, bumps and curves of the vest. So it fits nice. Now it's time to paint it. So now I'm taking the Rust-Oleum Metallic Blue and I'm just going to paint this. I'm going to want to do a couple coats, obviously. There's the first one, it looks really cool, so I'm going to let that dry and I'll do another coat. So I've done two coats and two coats is good. You don't really need to do any more than that, or it's just going to cake on the paint. Now I'm going in with just one coat of crystal clear enamel, rust-oleum, just to add a protective layer and to also give it a little bit more gloss. So just, just going to put that on here, one, one coat of that, and after that, let it dry, and it's done. You can also use your hair dryer to dry the paint, that'll help a lot as well. So a characteristic of the Ben Affleck bat symbol that I really liked was the little nicks and scratches that were in it to show that it's kind of been through some, some rough battles. So for the Nightwing one I just kind of took just an X-Acto knife and just added little scratches like right here. I added some down in the bottom and just in random places. Not too many because I didn't want to distract from the, the actual emblem but just, just little pieces here and there. I think it looks really cool. So now I've just taken some of this testers enamel in silver and just accented all the little uh, edges and highlights of this thing just to give it a little bit more depth and just to make it look a little bit more like metal, like it has battle damage. So I thought that would really bring out the piece even more, especially with all the, uh, the little grooves and indents I added in with the knife. Just adds a lot more to the piece. I think it came out looking pretty good. So I bought these two paracord bracelets at Walmart. I wanted to use the buckles on the vest to add a little bit more detail. Um, I wanted to add a little bit more of a tactical look and also add more blue. So I, I cut them off of the paracord with some scissors with a little bit of difficulty. But I ended up getting them off and I needed two of them. And so I'm going to paint them with the same blue I used on the emblem, it's Rust-Oleum Metallic. And I'm just doing maybe two to three coats of that just to get a nice even coverage of color just so it matches the emblem. And then I took some Loctite, which is a really strong adhesive, and I glued the chest emblem and the two buckles onto the vest. Yes, this is in the bathroom. Don't mind the toilet, please. Um, and I let that sit for a couple hours, just so it would really bond to the vest. 
Now I'm using Empire all-purpose magnets. They're very strong. They hold like up to three pounds. I put two on the two back panels on the vest and then two on the batons themselves. And I kind of decorated them with some Lego bricks just to add a little more detail. And after I hot glued the magnets on, I was done. It took a little bit of practice to get the aim right to put the sticks on. 